All right, what's happening, people? Welcome back to the Brothers Geek Out channel. This is Fight Talk with the BMAs, the basic MMA analysts. I got my boy Kurt. Oh, my bad. Slick <laughs> in town, back from holiday. How was how was the holiday, bro? Beautiful, man. It was it was pure zen, saunering, uh, ke kebabishing, shishering, whatevering. You know, just living lavish and low key at the same time. You know, first Amazing. time traveling solo. Amazing, amazing. And is that the first time you've traveled since the pandemic and whatnot? So it's been like two years or something? No, 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 no. Um, I wasn't that grounded. I was in Ghana last year in October. Oh, yeah, I remember. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but okay. this, this was the first one where it was like beach, uh, you know, beach, chill out. And again, like my first solo trip with nobody. All right, awesome. It was cool. Made some yeah. business connections and everything. It was all good. Anyway. Let's That's go. good. Cool, let's man. Go, let's go, let's go, let's, let's go, go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Well, listen, man, we just had a good <laughs> UFC fight. I appreciate you staying up because I know it's it's like 6 a.m. now, so oh, you've been up man. the whole yeah, night. But we'll quickly talk for UFC 274. Yes. Freaking hell. Let's just start off with the main freaking fight, man. Charles Oliveira versus Justin Gaethje, the lightweight belt, which obviously win. Oh. Like Charles won, but obviously didn't get the belt because oh. of that technically earned the scales and whatnot. Uh, but put that aside, regardless, he's the champ, right? Um, yeah, that was yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. Oh, that was amazing. Charles is a beast. He is definitely at, at a next level. Like his mental, his skill set. Mm -hmm. I mean, because mm -hmm. he, he knocked Justin down really to get the submission. Mm -hmm. and he's so smart. Early. He's so smart to just go straight to jujitsu. Like, like how yeah. smart is that? Not apart from everything else, how smart was he? Rather than just trying to go for the ground and pound or whatnot and try to knock him out, he just went. Yeah, I'm going straight for the submission. That's my game. And he saw Red what butter. Khabib, he saw how what Khabib done to Justin so easily. So it's like, why not? And he easily just submitted yeah. him. Um, crazy like fight. What, what, what are your thoughts, man? Uh, I think, uh, you know, eventually Charles Oliver is going to be one of them guys that might end up with um, PKO Dr. Stoppages because his face gets busted up real quick, man. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking hell. First real minute of the quick. fight, two cuts, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But anyway, like aside from all that, like you're right. He was smooth with it. He was intelligent. It looked like he was gonna go for the punch and was like, nah, nah. Let me just, let me just snug him. <laughs> let me just snug him. So and easy. He adjusted real quick. He adjusted quickly. And then yeah, I, I think Justin went out after that. I think it was it was a perfect performance. I still think he needs to be careful with his face, his defense, is a little bit, you know. But he has a fear. Uh, everyone has a fear about him going on the ground. No one wants to mess with him on the ground. So I think like, you know, and, and on, on the feet, he's scary too. So he's, he's, he's extremely well-rounded and it's a shame Habib isn't around, to, you know, for us to see it, that fight. Yeah, I know. That's what everyone's saying, isn't it? But uh, Islam, bro, yeah. I think Islam is the, is, is the fun fight for me. Islam I know he called out team. Connor mm. and Connor's the fun fight, the exciting, mm -hmm. funny, uh, money Red fight. Night, Red Panny yeah, night, Red so Panny Yeah, so good, yeah. good for him to try to get that money. But the, the real fight is either Islam or maybe even, uh, yeah. even um, what's his name, man? Michael Chandler. Hamza. Well, I'm at a different, different weight, weight class, isn't it? it, it oh, my God. I'm basic. I'm basic. <laughs> but Chandler, Chandler, look, I mean, let's before we go to Chandler, right, because he had that amazing yeah. knockout, um, Rose and Carla, man, like, for... for, for oh, jeez. Oh, wait. I mean, oh, that geez. was, that was oh, a tough geez. one, isn't it? That was a tough one. Was, was that the worst championship fight you've ever seen? You have think to it, say so, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, Ooh. is it is it the worst... <laughs> Is it like is it the worst fight in UFC history? Oh, it's debatable. Because you Engano Engano and Derek Lewis is always up there, right? But at least there's a little bit more yeah. action. Like this one had no action, especially up to like round three. There was like nothing. Um, and I can't yeah. believe like I think Rose and her team, man, they're gonna they're gonna look back and be like, damn, man, if like we, they're gonna look back and regret it in the so, sense that if they just don't. Yeah. Listen, five more strikes. If you just done three more strikes, you would have won the fight. You know what I'm saying? That's how, but that's how bad it is, though, right? It's, it was, it wasn't like it was a close fight. It's like there was just no action. If you done some free fights, free punches, that's it, bro. One more. And you would have won. But for real, though, right? Because Carla won just by possibly doing a little takedown shoot. She got one takedown, and but but Rose was able to like escape it straight away, and then freaking um like she was able to escape so i thought i would have given her confidence to just go for it like hey i can escape your wrestling and take down let's let's go yeah i'm so confused I'm, i was so confused by that fight i i couldn't understand 
what was going on. But quick one, I thought it was unusual and I thought maybe it was a little bit of ego. Rose came out and was like, I'm the best, I'm the best. And I was like, that reminds me of fucking Joanna. And then she put on a performance like that. Like I was thinking, did it get to her head? Was yeah. it Anderson Silva moment in, in, in um, Abu Dhabi? I, I don't know, but it was You know what, that, I don't know about that because I think Rose, because Rose done that in the previous fight with Jang Wei Li as well. She was just saying I'm the best. I'm the, I think that's a mental thing, bro. Like okay, remember, sure. remember I was okay. telling you, like when I was wrestling my wrestling coach and I, the second time I wrestled uh-huh. him, I was yeah. saying that to myself, yeah. like, let's go, let's go. Yeah. You're the best, you're the man. Yeah. I think yeah. it's one of those yeah. things to get you pumped. I don't think Fair she enough. had that ego. Like but, but I think okay. the respect was too much. Rose had too much respect for her takedowns. Uh, Carla had too yeah. much respect for her striking. Rose obviously lost before to her, but that was a long yeah. time ago. That and was I think a very long time ago. The mm. respect just made him hesitate and just we just didn't get anything, basically, man. But I, I don't Rewind? think... I don't think Should they'll do that. Back? I don't think they'll do that. I think Dana and the team will probably just put Carla against be it Zang, between Zhang Wei Li versus Joanna. Whoever wins that, I reckon they'll just give him her give her that. And then and then oh, Rose, wow. Rose will grow up again and get up get up there again if she, if she wants to. But that's what I think. That's what I think. Um hmm. okay. but yeah, interesting. You know, happens. I know we skipped like we kind of went over we quickly went over Charles and Justin, but do you and, and yeah. real, quick, real quick to go back on that, who do you think? Charles should get next. Like, what's your thoughts on on that division, man? Oh man, that that division is is one of the scariest ones out there. Um, off the top of my head, I couldn't even tell you who would be next. It would be uh, if you got names, throw them at me, and I can stick them on the wall. But you got I, I can't think. Who Dustin Poirier, what? Islam Makachev, Belnil Darius, Michael Chandler. Ooh, okay. Okay. Um, Gregor Gillespie, my. Conor McGregor, uh, okay. Rafael Fazi. Okay. So there's a few fights already. Like, so, so I think is, Islam yeah. and Darius are going to fight. Um, yeah. Chandler versus Chandler just won. We'll get to him in a bit. Uh, Poirier yeah. is up there. Maybe he needs to fight. Maybe Poirier can fight Chandler next again. Uh, or, Wait, did you say Bilal? Bilal? No, uh, B- uh, Benil Darius. Benil, okay. So him then, and- yeah, I think like Islam and him are meant to fight, yeah? Yeah. And they're both what, like fourth and fifth, six. Islam seven? and Islam is three. Benil is four. Oh well, then that's it. Then that's that's that should be the number right? yeah. yeah, yeah, number one contender fight, straight up. Yeah, I think so. I agree. I think that should be the number one contender fight. I think yeah. Michael Chandler will go into what he just did because shit, that was amazing, man. He he beat. The way he beat Tony Ferguson, that was the first time we've seen oh. Tony Ferguson out stiff, man. I mean, Ferguson was doing well in the first round. Obviously, he got taken down, but he was throwing them elbows from, from below, yeah. as, as he, he does, and whatnot. Yeah. Um, even on the striking, he was doing well. And then that front kick, bro, that was mad. That was disgusting. That, like, that was just all levels of just foot and mouth disease. <laughs> 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 like uh, he he talked him nicely. That was perfect. Wow. That was so perfect. And he wasn't looking. The, the, he was here, and he just clunk. Like we saw the old Tony a little bit, like you know, kind of like a bit more fluent and energetic, and you know, doing what he does. But also we saw the negative part, which is his chins just up there. Yeah, you know. And after that uh, Gaethje fight, he's just never been the same, right? Like. You know, I don't know if he, I think I mean he had such a great run and we didn't get the Khabib fight. Unfortunately, he didn't get the proper yeah. title fight that he wanted. He was the interim champion, yeah. so that at least he got that, but he get he didn't That's really get the championship fight. But I think after that Gaethje yeah. fight, then he had the Charles fight, it just he just hasn't been the same, man. And it's just one of those things, like maybe it's just time, maybe it's just battles that he's taken that's put him through this in this position now, man. Because I don't know if the old Tony would have I don't know if the old Tony would have gone stiff. Maybe he would have wobbled by that kick, but he was out cold. He was done. Chandler didn't even perfect. follow up. Yeah, he didn't even follow it up. Was he perfect. Was, yeah. I don't think anyone's caught him that clean before. He's been hit, but that was on the chin at an angle as well. Like he's been hit over, you know, top of the head. But that one was special. That yeah. was special. So what, happens, special. what do you think happens with Tony now, man? I mean, like, I don't know oh, if you, no, I don't think done. you could, He's not done. You don't think he's done? He's I don't done. think he's done. I just don't think he'll get up to the title anymore, man. I think that reign is done. Okay, I think he's, I think yeah, he's in the point. top 10 guys, top five to 10. Yeah. I don't want to, I hope yeah. he doesn't become like a, what do you call him? A journeyman or any of that sort of gatekeeper. stuff where people use that. Yeah, gatekeeper. I hope he yeah, don't become yeah, that. Stepping stone. Him and Conor he McGregor will be a fun fight, man. That should happen. Uh, what's he called? him? McNugget. That McNugget. should happen. Uh, McNugget. Connor, I Connor think, could take that and, and feel confident, man. Because back in the days, I think he would have smashed Connor. 
honestly. But now I Connor, so. Connor, I yeah. think could take that and, and feel confident that yeah, I can knock you out. Like I yeah, think, yeah. You know what I mean, so it's a I big agree. name. Yeah. Tony's a big name. He's still a scary dude. He's still, He's still the boogeyman man in a way. Yeah. He's still number six. That's it. Well, so he, he he's not washed. That's it. And Connor should feel confident to be like, if I land the left left hand, which he probably could do, I can, he can knock him out. Yeah. So that could be something for and him. Now that chin of his has been has been cracked. That changes you as well. Mad. So Mad. I it's a been. shame. It's a shame. I I could see Tony losing, um, but when I saw the first round, I was like, okay, maybe he might he might be able to do this, you know. And I, my my jaw hit the ground when I saw that man. I was like, damn. Like, yeah. So what about Gaethje then? Yeah. What about what about Gaethje then? What happens with Gaethje? That was his second title fight. I feel like when he gets to those title uh, fights, he because he was winging it. Same with like Habib, like he was so with Habib, he was so like trying to not get taken down, so he would like rush yeah. off and rush. Same with yeah. and then same with yeah. Charles, like he it's not like a, he was scared of the takedown, but he was winging those punches like and losing he balance and shit. Everything on them, yeah. He he put himself in very scary positions, uh, time and time again, and. I'm not sure what happens with him. I don't know. I mean, he's, he's, he's obviously still not, he's still up there. He's probably going to fight whoever in that mix, maybe Dustin again, maybe you know, somebody else. Yeah, somebody else in that top five, he's probably going to fight him again. And I'm sure he, he'll, he'll be back. I mean, yeah, like another day, another time, maybe he could have taken Charles, you know, but yeah. on the ground, uh, that's just a no. Like standing up, maybe. Yeah, I think a lot, of, a lot of good strikers have a chance against Charles. You yeah. Know? yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. dangerous. He's Definitely. wild. <laughs> but this is why yeah. Islam's interesting because Islam, I, I, I would say Charles is striking is better than Islam. I, I mean, I mean, from what I see and whatnot. Yeah. But on the ground, yeah. yes, Charles is dangerous. But that wrestling, bro, that Dagestanian wrestling that could nullify. That's it. Good. It could nullify could, yeah. his submission good. game, and he could, you know, ground and pound. You know, would you call it the wet? Would you call it the wet blanket style, or whatever? What, what, what? I can't remember what you call oh, it, but the dang style. Sand. Quick Quick sand. Sand style, yeah. yeah, it could happen. I mean, that could be the game yeah. plan, like nullify his jujitsu with your wrestling and ground and pound him. Um, that, that's why I think that's an interesting fight, man, because Islam has yeah. that elite ground game as well. Yes, yes, yes. No, absolutely. I think he's the only one that I think could really do. Uh, you know, pose a threat to him. Um, because his arm striker is not bad. He can get into those positions quite well with his striking, as Habib did, you know, get work his way in, but, but with a little bit more, you know, snap uh, Islam compared to Habib. Mm. And then his ground and power, his is, 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 is wrestling is there. So I think well-roundedness-ish, that's a battle of the minds for sure. Mm. It's going to be that's interesting. That's such a fun yeah. division, man. Let's see what they do with that division. Um, off before that, we DC. got... Oh yeah, DC got. DC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that oh, got me emotional a little bit, man. That got me emotional a little bit when yeah. DC was crying and whatnot. I, I was like, wow, that's emotional. I felt it. He was talking about it. his his it. parents. He lost both of his parents recently, and that and that, parents, that hit me yeah. when I saw it. When he when he said that, yeah. I, I got emotional as well, man. That was that was deep. Congratulations, like, he, bro, oh, he's, I, he's such a legend, I, I, man. Oh man, he's like he's he's like he's like uh he, he almost reminds me of like Uncle Chael, but even even like friendlier, you know. Just yeah. one of those guys that just like, you know what? Come here, Daniel. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> well, he'll probably Dan, do that to you, bro. He'll probably do that. Yeah, like, oh, shit. All right, Dan. All right, Dan. I'll some chicken. Bye-bye. Cool. <laughs> it's all look at that, that face. <laughs> yeah. That's jokes. Oh, man. Well, yeah. Awesome to him, yeah, man. Great. Freaking love that dude, man. His commentary, him, cool. Joe Rogan, and John Anik are the best, man. They got the best Anik, energy. Man. I like yeah. when they just, like, just say, hey, man, I'm lost. Being Thomas. And then, boom, he comes in. Like, yeah. That's a nice little law. Love it. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Love All right. Well, before that, we, we had a legend, man. Shogun Hua versus uh, o -O 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 OSP. Oh, man. I mean... non activity. I know, no, you know what though, but the difference between that one and this was my opinion because people blew it, boo in on that one. I'm like, Shogun's been through wars. I know he's just 40, but he's been through wars, right? So he should be more strategic. He shouldn't be going out to try to move wars because sure. one, he's going to get clipped and hurt. And two, he's already sure. battle damaged. So I, I like the strategicness and OSP was fighting body kicks galore. Like it, I, I thought it was an active fight. I just thought it was more strategic. Um, so I kind of I kind of respect it, and I I don't like to see legends like Shogun lose. Mm -hmm. 
Um, mm, mm, yeah, but you yeah, know, I kind yeah, of yeah. you kind of saw that happening. But he said one more yeah. fight, man, and he's done. And I'm glad he's got that vision, man. Like take one more fight, okay. maybe try and take an easy fight and win, go on top. Like yeah. such a legend. Yeah, but the yeah, pride yeah, fights, yeah, the yeah. Dan Henderson fights, when he beat Lyoto Machida. I mean, the guy's a legend, bro. Yeah, I remember all of that. I, I absolutely agree. Like, I have tremendous respect for Shogun. I remember like using him in the games and his leg kicks were just ridiculous. Like he crippled everybody <laughs> <laughs> on like on the Xbox 360 on this speed of game. Incredible like journey. And then um yeah, like I, I agree, like it makes sense to, to play pose that kind of fight. But I think oh Vince should have done more to really take that, you know. Like it's like he was almost like uh it was a kickboxing match, but mm-hmm. it was you know a very tentative one. Yeah. So yeah, hats off to Shogun for playing that game because I think the the, the previous fight with, with them two didn't go that way, did it? No, no, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, Shogun I mean, lost. I think he did lose in the last one. I'm right. pretty sure he did. I can't remember exactly, but like, he had a couple that, wins. That, that, he was getting some wins, and then he and then he, he had some. But he's he's reached that even though him and OSP are the same age roughly because it's just one year difference. But true, you know, that's true. But, but Shogun's fight career is aged way more. He's he's much older in the oh, fight yeah. career. You know what I mean? The battles that's that he's saying. gone through. Like, yeah, I see him as older because he's taken that much damage, as you said. Yeah, I see him as like you know a bit more of a fresher person because he hasn't been smashed to pieces. <laughs> that's it. Um, you know. But- I mean, look, I'm glad he's taking one more fight and that's it, man. Hopefully, yeah. he'll be done because I'd rather see a legend, even though I don't want to see them go, but I'd rather just see them retire and be done with it and they'd be like, cool, man. Be done with it. Yeah, like, yeah. and I, I feel like a side note is, is they, like, like, the, like the early boxers in the 90s and the 80s, the MMA fighters need to sort out their, their money because mm. why, I mean, why else are they going to come back to, to fight at like 40 something? Like, something must have happened financially, isn't it? You know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Exactly. Must be, must be. So, like, you know, sort of your pocket, man. Yeah. No, hopefully with the new UFC fighters, I think they're learning a lot more anyway, especially from the old yeah. ones. Um, BJ Penn yeah. was on um, Rogan's show Ooh. the other week, and he said, he said that um, he goes, fighting is not a career, it's an opportunity, right? Uh, unless you're Andre Alaska, who's been doing it forever. Uh, but <laughs> it's an opportunity. Like, you take your money, you get the opportunity, you use the opportunity, that platform to build other stuff. And then you and then that's right. it because you can't fight forever. Like it's it's not healthy, nah, man. Nah. Uh, so I don't know. Oh. Pen Pen's a legend anyway. But you should check that podcast mm. out if you have a chance. Um, yeah, he's I've just seen, so awesome. I've seen it on the feed. Yeah, I've seen it on the feed. Okay, I, I'll have a look at it. That's a good one, I, man. I, I just wish he didn't go out as he did, but whatever. Yeah, he, he's amazing. He he spoke about that a little bit, but he, he just knew yeah. it, he he was talking about his own ego. He was talking about. Just that uh, buzz, no. just that buzz that is so hard for fighters to give yeah. away, and he admitted it. It's like it's hard to. Yeah, it was hard to get away from it. But now he's officially like, um, my mind's good. I'm away from it. I won't ever go back. So that's awesome on him. The other fight that kicked off the main event, obviously we lost the Cerrone and Lozan fight. Cerrone got sick. Yeah. Um, Non-COVID related, they said. Yeah, they said it was non-COVID. So hopefully he's okay. Um, But it would have been great to see that fight. But um, we got Mm. Randy Brown versus Chaos uh, Williams, which was a fun fight. I didn't see that one. I didn't see that one. Randy, Randy. Randy was like very, uh, what do you call it, man? He was very smooth. He was very, uh, he had a lot of head movement. He was almost fighting like it was a boxing fight. He would literally duck his head like it was a boxing fight. Chaos did, oh, Chaos did catch him a few times, but his head movement was really good, though. Randy's head movement was really mm. good. Uh, and Chaos mm. has just got that knockout power, power and whatnot. But mm. good fight overall. Um, the prelims, the prelims, prelims, prelims. Um, I, I was sneezing. I was sneezing. I don't blame you. It's right in the middle of the night, so you probably catch them later. I mean, it's worth watching some of them. I mean, uh, yeah. Brandon Raval uh, versus Matt Chanel was good. That was a fast-paced fight. Yeah. Um, nice. They were mainly decisions, weren't they? Uh, was they decision? mainly decisions? Mainly split decisions. split decisions. Mainly. Submit, yeah, yeah, yeah. The main card, the uh, prelims was just the Brandon Ravel fight was uh, was a submission win. Um, okay, Francisco Did you catch Ronaldo, Usman, by the way, Usman. Yeah. What do you mean, like at the what, what uh, at the event? Yeah. <laughs> I saw him wearing red. I mean, him and Charles looked like they they called each that, other and said, "Let's that, wear the same clothes." Guy looked like a nineties R and B rap singer, man. Wasn't he wearing like a red suit? Red thing like open chain, like sunglasses, you know, you look like, like literally like a like 90s RB singer. <laughs> living the life, I guess, man. Living that life. <laughs> it was funny, man. 
That's awesome. I, you know, I didn't watch any of the early prelims. I know, I mean, I'm looking at the results now. Um, but yeah, I didn't well, watch any of the early prelims. I know there was boxing on Canelo. It's Canelo fighting, right? Canelo f- fought B- uh, Bival. Um, I don't know the results to that. But I was going to say, while I look for it, um, what do you think of UFC 267 at the Can- uh, Cannoneer? 2nd of July, confirmed. Oh, yeah, that's a good fight, man. I mean, uh, what's the name? Israel has been fight, uh, uh, um, been asking for that fight for ages because he wanted he fresh been, blood, yeah, new blood, yeah, and he loves yeah, Cannoneer's yeah, energy. Yeah. And yeah, Cannoneer's got good energy right. about him. I like his energy, man. So that's going to yeah, be a good fight. I do... Um, f- yeah, I do think, I mean, Israel is just so elite when it comes to striking. So I do think he's going to win. I don't know if he'll dominate. <gasps> Yo! What up, what up? What are you saying? Yo! Canelo got fucked up! Are you for real? I'm fucking not lying to you. First defeat in over eight years. He got his shit pushed in. Wait, wait, wait. I hold on, hold on. Uh, hold up, shit. Come on, son. Look at that. Knockout or, wait, wait. Uh, there's some privacy uh, thing there, man. <laughs> Look, you got up. First, first defeat in almost nine years. WBA United. Like, oh shit! Did he? Did he? Did he lose by points or did he go up? He in the, up. Did he go up and did he go? He didn't go. He went up, didn't he? Up in weight class. I'm sure he did. I, I don't know. I don't know, but I know he was defending his belt as, as normal. Um, I'm not sure, but. I just, oh, it was a unanimous decision, but I saw a picture of him, like, all the way up against the ropes. Oh, like, damn. Oh. <laughs> yeah, man. I wonder look. if he went up, because I know he's been going up in division and whatnot, man. God damn it, get look. Oh, shit. Yeah. And that was, like, uh, uh, Santa de Mayo weekend as well, you know, the, the Mexican the, celebration. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and uh, yeah, it was funny, like, Somebody asked him about Jake Paul, and he's like, why are you asking about this fight? <laughs> he's upset about that, isn't it? But Jake Paul, yeah, you know what Jake Paul's going to do? He's going to take that. he's gonna take jabs at him now, just because of, but Canelo's a boxing oh, yeah. master. He's a beast. He's a master at boxing. Like, Jake Paul's just doing the right thing. He's just smart because marketing and all that sort of stuff. So he's yeah. smart. He can make the money. Um, he's, a, he's obviously a boxer. He can fight. But Canelo is just a different... He's, he's, a, he's a master at boxing. You know what I mean? Um, I mean, he, he just said, give him a couple more years, give him two more years, and then we'll, we'll chat. But for now, like, it's like, not even a fight. Yeah, it's like <laughs> Hicks and Gracie and someone just getting a blue belt in jiu-jitsu and be like, and, and because they're such a great promoter of themselves, they're like, yeah, I could take out Hicks. And it's like, yeah, let's yeah, be real. Yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, you know, it's, it's, it's oh, that equivalent. Man. But with boxing, it, you know, it, I mean, look, Jake Paul's just smart dude, man. So it's just, it's just... Um, yeah, um, but that's so interesting, man. I didn't know Canelo. Man. I, I yeah. I'm pretty sure. I mean, I haven't done the research, but I'm pretty sure he went up in weight class. I don't know if that has anything to do with the result or anything, or if he got outclassed or if it, anything. But um, damn, work. that's shocking. That's his first loss, right? First loss since uh, 2013 against Floyd Mayweather Jr. Damn. damn. Look at that. Off damn. the dome. Off the dome. Well, hopefully so, he gets back up, man. Yeah. I mean, um, uh, UFC next week. Is it next week? Is another fight card? Uh, the May May fifteenth. So that's next week. Yeah, you got um, uh, Jan Blok Jan Blokovic, where his name is <laughs> Alexander Rakic. Blokovic. <laughs> 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 Blokovic. You know I can't read, bro. You know I can't read. Anyone, anyone who knows the channel knows that I cannot read. But um. Yeah, I mean, this is his, um, I guess this is his way to come back up to the light heavyweight belt, yeah, right? So, because obviously yeah, Glover yeah. is fighting the other dude in Singapore, which I'm going to miss that fight because I'm going to be back in the UK. Um, oh! Yeah, I'm going to be back in the UK during that fight. Um, <laughs> oh, shit. Or am I going to be in New York? When is that fight? Anyway, I'll be in New York, New York UK or New York You'll anyway. You'll be fine, right? You'll be traveling, right? Apart okay, from Singapore. Okay. I'll be out of Singapore. But, um... Look, that's an yeah. interesting fight, you know. Jan, if you know him in that Polish power, I'm sure he, if he if he isn't mentally distraught by the last fight, yeah. he can definitely go back up there and reach. Um, yeah. Other interesting fights: fight. Ryan Span versus. Oh. The uh, UFC, sorry, the uh, two seventy seven Paulo Costa Luke Rockhold July thirtieth confirmed. Okay, mm. yeah, Rockhold was asking for that fight for a long time. He's been cussing. Yeah. Um, Rock, uh, yeah, it's been. Yeah, he's been slapping him up online. It's confirmed. July twenty, July thirtieth. Okay, I mean, it'll be good for uh, Rocco. I don't know, man, because Rocco is back at middleweight, right? It's back at middleweight. It's gonna be right. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It would have to be. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Didn't he want to go up? 
He went up and he lost against. Oh, he went up and got Yang. Yang. Yeah, yeah, Yang. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember he was looking through Yang and Lang just went boom. Yeah, that <laughs> Polish power, like... man. That Polish power. That's that's when that's when that's when uh, trash talk uh, backfires literally. Well, he was, he was a very confident guy, right? I mean, he, he was overconfident towards Bisbing and, and Bisbing took him out. In, oh, in, in, you know what I mean? So man. maybe maybe yeah, he's yeah, always just yeah. had that overconfidence, which could it, which is probably his, excuse me, his weakness or whatnot. The downfall, yeah. Perhaps, perhaps. I mean, yeah. I always like seeing him fight. I think his jiu-jitsu is incredible. I think it's yeah. like, his, his kicks and range and everything is really, really like impressive. But he just hasn't been able to put it together for a while. And, you know. Maybe everyone has a everyone has a moment, right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, he was champ at one point. Um, on next week's card, still Ryan Span versus Eon K. You know, it's another name I can't do it, but Kalaba, Kutlaba. <laughs> <laughs> you know the dude that just that one. you know the dude that had the weigh in who always just screens in everyone's face. He gets in everyone's face. The big this dude, man. I can't say the name, man. My reading abilities is always gonna be basic. Uh, where we at? Where we at? Uh, this dude. Oh, oh, the Romanian guy. Yeah, yeah. Is he yeah, 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 I think so. He's the one who had the beef with the other guy and then they, they stopped the fight, remember that? Is it him? Yes, he was faking it. He was faking, like, playing a rope-a-dope type thing and then okay, they stopped the fight. Remember, he got clipped <laughs> and he was faking like he got hurt. <laughs> was, and the, yeah, the ref, yeah, the ref yeah, thought yeah, he was yeah, serious. Yeah, yeah that, that, that was bad. Yeah. And then they rematched it, didn't they? Yeah, and then I think he lost it on the rematch. Uh, he's, like, <laughs> he's, he's, he's interesting because he always gets in everyone's face, the weigh-ins. Uh, oh, who else we got? Yeah, we got... Yeah, Davy Grant, uh, shit, Davy Grant, is that British dude? No, no, it's uh, not. Is it? uh, I don't know who that is. No. Davy Grant versus, no, let me just go back. Wait, Come man. on. Behind, be, Davy Grant versus Lewis Smokler, Smolak, Smol- Smolka. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, I know that guy. That's a, I think, thingy for him, didn't he? Um, sugar. Didn't, didn't Sugar fight him? I think so. Mali. Isn't he Did the he? guy who he, he, he busted his foot to and then he like fought him from the ground or something? Oh was shit, little, was that him? Compromised. I, I think so. Isn't he the like the, the Hawaiian looking guy? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I don't know, maybe. Something. Well, we got yeah. um on the prelims, there's a few people, man. You got you got Angela Hill fighting, Michael Johnson's fighting. Um oh. So even the prelims got a few fights on there, which is going to be pretty cool. Yeah, some names. Um, some names so at least we there. still got some fights, man, for next week. So that's fun. And then what's the name? I guess we'll talk about the main big events in the future that are coming up, which is probably... Hey, did you hear about Hamza and Nate, uh, Nate Diaz? They're trying to set that one up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man, there was so much so much things happened in the week that I, I had completely forgotten to talk about. But yeah, that, that looked interesting. And then there was a... Because there was a, there was a, they... They exposed their board, didn't they? Their match board. <clears throat> um, yeah, I saw that. I, I wonder if um, my guy, my guy in our group, he was just like, "It's a sad day." And then he was like, "I was like, why?" And he was like, "Because like Nate's gonna go to his funeral in June." <laughs> <laughs> oh man! I mean, I, was like, Damn. <laughs> I feel like I feel like that Hamza's got so much already, so much fame. I think they kind of put they want to put him against Nate to get more fame. Uh, you know what I'm yeah. trying to say? Because Nate, Nate's such a popular guy, man. He's such a fan favorite. There's no need for him to fight Kamza. And let's be real, man. He, he, he yeah. I don't think he will do good against Kamza. Uh, you know what I mean? I think Kamza will smash him. Um, unfortunately, it's hard to say because Nate's one of the he's one of the greats, right? Um, but just Kamza's just up and going. Nate gets hit a lot. Like you know what I mean? Like yeah, scar tissue. I mean, if 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 Hamza gets he, you know, he, he gets emotional like he did in the last one and goes toe-to-toe with Nate Diaz like Connor did. I, I mean, and, and, it, and it's later rounds. I don't know what could happen. I don't know what could yeah, happen. Yeah, if Nate can survive, man. Happen. If Nate can survive yeah, and take yeah, it to yeah, the later yeah, rounds, yeah, yeah, you never yeah, know. Yeah. But I don't think so, man. I, yeah. I really don't think so. I, I mean, I, I know... I feel that. I, I, I know, like, with comes out just because of what happened with Gilbert Burns, there's been, a, there's been a little... Some people kind of, like, you know, might have lost a bit of faith. I don't think so. I think he's still the beast. I've lost no faith. Is. That's what I said. If he gets emotional, because he said himself, he let it get to him. Yeah. Generally, yeah. I think he's very grounded. He's a wolf, you know? He'll be fine. But the emotional version of him was, I, like, he saw blood was to knock him out, got his emotions in the way, as he said himself. And you know he got into a fucking <laughs> bar burner, bar burner, 
Barbara, I think it showed a lot more though, man. To me, to me, that after thinking about it, I think it showed a lot more about comes up that he can have that kind of fight. If it, it's not smart, yeah, obviously, yeah. Uh, yeah. and if he tried to do that with Usman, that might be a problem. Even Kobe, Kobe Covington, that might be a problem. But if he yeah, learns yeah, from yeah. this, it becomes more strategic. Becomes it becomes more like, you know, let me just yeah. smash people how I do. Then the right way, yeah. It might he yeah, might be yeah. even more dangerous, bro? He might be even more dangerous yeah. after that. For sure. For sure. Hopefully he is. Hopefully he has learned and, you know, he, he just becomes this like phenom, which we hope he might become, you know? Yeah. And just from nowhere, just literally from the trenches and just the smashing of like, he might be that guy riding that white horse in the sunset one day, you know? <laughs> yeah. I mean, he's, he's, he's such a beast, but that's the interesting fight. Um, what else? What other that, fight announcements have been made? Um, it wasn't... <sighs> Trying to think, I didn't take any notes, but I'm I'm trying to remember off the top of my head. Um, there, oh man, there was a lot of things that happened in the week. I, but I the next, the it. next big UFC card is obviously the one in uh, it's two seven five, the one in Singapore. So we just got a bunch of fight nights um, through that, and then we got that one. Um, so yeah, that's it, man. That. that is it. Um, uh, there's some bullshit about Costa trying to get with Kay Hansen. I don't know. That's bullshit. <laughs> Do you even know who she is? No, fuck it. Fuck it. No, <laughs> uh, we got nothing, man. Like, we got nothing. But I, I go back to um, as far as the as far as the fight, I thought it was really funny how like the commentators were like, How are we gonna? What do we ask? Like, do you think you, yeah. I mean, the first, the first two rounds, it was like, you've got to score it at 10-10. Like, nothing happened. Like, so you ha- it has to be a draw, those two rounds. Like, nothing happened. Um, yeah. Uh, I, it, it, I, I guess both fighters... Scarlett's going to... What's that saying? Feed. Oh, Dana White. No, no, it did. That's why I thought of it, because it, it just came up again on the feed, you know? Oh, okay, okay. I love Bruce yeah. Buffer. Regardless of anything, Bruce Buffer still has the energy, and he still promoted the, the champion in, in the right oh, way. Man. Imagine he was just I'm like, cool. oh, yeah, the winner's gone. Yeah. Okay. But no, Bruce Buffer's... He, 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 <laughs> no matter what, he, 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 keeps that, he keeps that energy, bro. Uh, she's a champion. If she wins, she won. Simple. Um, she won, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's, there, there's nothing else to it, you know? Yeah, like, I think she's just, obviously going to be more happier. I think Rose is going to be way more disappointed than herself, just by not throwing a strike or two more, that would have won another round. Yeah, like just a strike or two. I, I, Think about it, man. That, it's not like normally it's like get a takedown by the end of the round so you can try and score the round and whatnot, at least. Yeah. But she just needed to do a punch or two and would have won the round. Um <laughs> it just sounds funny. It almost sounds like I don't know, like uh people in Zimmer frame just throwing throwing my handbag. It's like yeah. I only got a little bit left. Oh but you know what though? I again I, again it's like it's like um you don't know what's going through their heads, man. Let's be real, man. Like, sure. we, we can oh, never sure. Sure. we can never yeah. sit in that fight frame of mind in front Absolutely. of all those people, title fight, whatever. And and yeah, and yeah, if you yeah. freeze or whatever, it's like God knows what what we don't know what goes yeah. through their heads. We can only imagine, we yeah. can only watch and criticize and whatnot. Um, Very but obviously there was something there. There was just hesitance, man. Okay. I remember my okay. um again, it's not on the same level, but I remember my my second amateur fight. After the first yeah. one, first one, like I was so hyped, but when the second one happened, I was so hesitant. I never, I, I just froze. Um, I remember that perfectly. I, I, I mean, again, it's not even on the same scale as, as these lot, but I can just remember just freezing and not wanting to throw strikes and keep moving and keep moving and trying to look for a shot. And I remember clearly I was thinking of a shot, thinking of a shot, thinking of it, it never came out. And I was just like, you know, again, it's never, it's not on the same level as these lot, but I could just understand there's there's mental shit that goes on, man. Um, so I don't know. It'd be because Rose sure Rose has always it, been what's that, sorry? No, I'm sure like oh, <clears throat> you mentioned this, it's not on the same level, right? But I'm sure the feeling, the fight or fight flight, the butterfly feeling is, is the same, you know, it's still a human response. Yeah, exactly. It's that same feeling, but so my level same, was yeah. yeah, her level was all the way up here. You know what I'm trying to say? <laughs> yeah, so, like, so it's a big difference in that part. Yeah, it's same feeling and whatnot. But same Rose feeling, has man, been very she's always been open about her emotions and whatnot. So um, yeah, she been. might talk about it. She might talk about it. she might yeah. just say, Hey, we we messed up, or she might just say, like, my mind wasn't there, or whatever it is, man. Yeah. It's funny because I, I heard like um Bar- uh, Barry. Sorry. Pat Barry, yeah. Name? Pat Barry speaking and he was like, they remember watching the last fight and they were like, yeah, we all kind of said, you know, we messed up in this one. 
and we they all kind of grew from that fight and then she went on her, t- her on her tear so like it is ironic that it happened again <laughs> yeah <laughs> the same person you know, ah, it is um, what it is, man. Maybe some like listen, listen. Rose is such a beast. She smashed Joanna oh, twice. Man. She smashed Zhang I... Lee twice. Oh, and, then, and then yeah, and then you got you got Scarlett Exposa, and 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 that's like her kryptonite. It's like you know what I mean. Like it's, yeah, like, it's yeah, weird, it's right? Really, like, that's her kryptonite. Really, yeah. Whereas the it's other really, two, let's be real, on paper they look way more. They're scarier, man. Jo- Joanna and Zhang Lee. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. she she destroyed those two. Um, yeah we'll see what happens we'll see what happens we'll see what happens indeed we'll see what happens indeed it's, it's, it's been good it's yeah been a good time <laughs> definitely definitely well we still got fights every week so that's a fun thing i would we'll, listen man yeah. when i'm in the uk in june we will have these at a more convenient time for you uh maybe cool. in person <laughs> maybe we can maybe try and organize and do this in person together uh rather than on zoom because zoom is only giving me three minutes left until it locks us off basic zoom <laughs> 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 but uh, on that note, listen, well, brother, I appreciate your time. Yeah. I know, I know, you've been up all night, so right. thanks for staying up and, and doing this. And oh man, it's, the, um, it's, it's it's fun to watch the the biggest fights, you know, there there and then, and to get messages. Did you see that? Oh shit! Yeah, you know, you, you gotta avoid social media like the plague, bro. If you otherwise get, yeah. it's like Doctor Strange this week. I had to avoid social media so much oh, until I watched the film. Have you seen it? Yeah, I saw it twice, bro. I saw it twice before. It even came, <laughs> I saw it twice before it even came out in the UK. <laughs> That was a that was a rhetorical question. <laughs> of course, of course. Um, cool, man. Well, look, brother. Oh, look, um, yeah. it was good to catch up. I've got like a minute left Likewise. before Zoom locks us off. But um, man, listen, I appreciate you uh, again joining this and us doing this. Uh, I know it's solo for oh, the last man. two weeks, but listeners, thank yeah. you so much for listening. Please I'm like, not. subscribe, all that sort of stuff, comment, all that stuff. Thing. But we'll be back regardless. We'll be back every week doing our fight re- fight caps. Uh, recaps and thoughts by the BMAs, the basic MMA analysts. Exactly. And let us know what did you f- what do you think is gonna happen next for Charles? Comment. Let us know what you think is gonna happen. What should be the best course of uh, you know solution? Definitely. Yeah. Then we can have a discussion about it. That'd be awesome. Good man. All right, man. Cool. All right, brother. Well, peace. Catch up soon. Yes. Oh, for sure, man. All right. Let me stop the record. Let me get a picture real quick.